Hey everybody, how's it going? I uh, hope you're doing okay in your part of the world today. Um, so this is going to be another Bubba the Love Sponge prank call, and this one's titled Ned Sheep Prank Call. So, uh, let's get to it, Sean Scribers. Agricultural Research Service. Yes, hello. Uh, is this the uh, Sheep Experiment Station? We're the Agricultural Research Service, yes. I was reading uh, on the internet. I saw an article about uh, an experiment uh, that you guys uh, had done about uh, gay sheep. Uh-huh. Uh, let me have you talk with Dr. John Stone, Luke. Just one second. Appreciate it. Hello. I just uh, wanted some information. I was, I was on the internet, and I was, I was reading this article about your study. With uh, about gay sheep, uh, trying to explain uh, the biology of uh, homosexuals, mm. it's going to be beneficial. Can I get your name and my name? Everything? My my name is Ned. Okay. Can I get what what, what, what uh, that you're with? Well, I just don't understand why you got to study queer sheep. I mean, what the hell do homosexual sheep have to do with gay men? Seems like apples and oranges to me. Um. I mean, maybe I could see if you had a gay dude f***ing a sheep, it'd make more sense, but I just don't get it. Yeah, well, and I don't know that we're trying to make that correlation. The news media has a tendency to try and centralize things and make it sound like gay sheep rather than male-oriented rams. Whatever, gay sheep, male-oriented rams. You can't dupe me with semantics. I didn't just fall off the f***ing turnip truck. Sorry. What I see here is a bunch of guys in white coats getting off watching sheep f*** each other up there. Oh, no, no. Oh, yes, yes, my friend. You tell me the correlation between gay sheep and gay men. Well, it, I mean, the only correlations with the thing is in, in looking at the brain and the different attributes of the brain. So uh, so after you're done studying your sheep, uh, you, you, you kill them? Yes. Yeah, in order to study their brains to that degree, they are... They are uh, sacrificed. Sacrificed? What are you, a bunch of devil worshippers? No. No, this is, I mean, you know, we... I mean, it seems like you're telling me you kill these sheep just because they're gay. Sounds like a fucking hate crime to me. No, no. No, what we're... Are you a bunch of Nazis? Uh, you got Heinrich Himmler running a fucking gay sheep death camp? Hello? Yes? I'm sorry, we seem to have been disconnected. Now, look, you got to understand my point of view. I mean, I'm looking on the Internet to see this article about a bunch of scientists standing around watching sheep poke each other in the um, It isn't just to get, you know, like a, a sensation or whatever for watching them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's just... Uh, it's just, it's just foolishness is what it is. I mean, I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Sheep are nothing like gay men. Uh, Do sheep? go to bathhouses and f*** off a dozen guys a night? <laughs> Do they wear leather chains and uh, give each other a golden cheap showers? No. I mean, I realize I'm going over the top, but you got to realize mainstream America sees this and thinks my tax dollars to watch gay c*** and sheep. Right. Just, I think it's more politically correct probably to refer to them as male-oriented rams rather than than gay. I mean, Are you f***ing kidding me? Now talk about political correctness gone haywire. What, did I offend the sheep by calling them <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you did. Well, that's just great. I just still can't come to terms on why a grown man would want to watch two rams f***. Well, I said it was Kurt Warner and Marshall Falk. God. Yes. Listen, I think I figured out what you people are trying to do. Ned. What you're saying is homosexuality is a disease. Ned. And with this new information, maybe we can identify gay kids before they're born. Oh. And suck them right out of the womb. Right? No, no. I see where all this is going. No. Abort all gay fetuses. What are you, a bunch of f***ing skinheads? Hello? Hello? Is this Sheep F***ers Anonymous? Is what? Look, a couple more questions. I won't bother you, I swear. You promised me this is a legitimate scientific experiment. Yes. Could you tell me if this experiment only involves male homosexual sheep? We're we're primarily focused just on rams. Um, Damn. No hot lesbian action. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, by the way, while we're on the subject, if, if I f*** a transvestite sheep, uh, but I think it's a girl, does that make me queer? Hello? Ned? Yeah, I got a sheep who's perfect for your study. Ned? I took him to the emergency room last night, and they pulled six gerbils out of his ass. Fucking queer. Hello? 
Yeah, I was wondering if I could get a government grant to study the correlation between gay interracial human sexual relationships no. and homosexual interspecies mating. Because I got two male black sheep and they shit out of this billy goat. It's pretty hot. I ought to be able to get at least a hundred grand for that. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh Lord. Um <laughs> Ned, you are hilarious. <laughs> or Bubba. You are hilarious. <laughs> um, like this video if you like Bubba the Love Sponge prank calls and radio station prank calls. And um, if there's one of those that you'd like for me to react to, comment the title of it and who did it if you don't mind by sharing. Well, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for loving and supporting this channel. And I encourage you to do so even more. I'm going to close this off here, but do please subscribe at the bottom for more content. Don't forget to like and share this video. Also, hit that bell below to keep up to date with my video releases and posts. Also, comment below in a video you think I should react to next. And as always, guys, take care and God bless everybody.